गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ पल्स कोड मॉड्युलेशन नाउ इन दिस पल्स कोड मॉड्युलेशन प्रैक्टिकल वी हैव टू पार्ट्स वन इज पीसीएम विद यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन एंड पीसीएम विद नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रैक्टिकल यू विल रिक्वायर एन किट ऑफ पीसीएम मॉडेम यू विल कीप द रेडी द ऑब्जर्वेशन टेबल विद यू एंड सम ग्राफ्स दैट विल गाइड यू टू डू द प्रैक्टिकल Also, we'll require DSO, uh, DSO probes, and some connecting wires. So, before starting the practical, all these are the requirements. Now, the what is the objective of the practical? The first objective of the practical is to study different blocks of pulse code modulation in uniform quantization. That is the first objective. The second objective is to study. the different blocks of pulse code modulation with non uniform quantization so these are the two objectives of this practical after doing the practical the student or you must understand or you must be able to define or describe the working of pcm pulse code modulation with both uniform and non uniform quantization so we will start the practical so first we will see the first part of the practical that is pcm with pulse code modulation so now to study the pcm with pulse uh, pulse code modulation with uniform quantization we will required this output of this 1 kilohertz source this is an fixed 1 kilohertz sine wave so you have to connect this output of 1 kilohertz sine wave to input of your analog to digital converter now if you recall pcm in pcm system what is there there is sampler there is quantizer and there is encoder and this three after this encoder the output is given to your parallel to serial converter now all these three blocks that is sampling quantization and encoding is done in this adc 0809 ic on this pcm modem so all these three blocks per function is performed by a single adc 0809 and the output of adc is given to ic 74151 which is nothing but an parallel to serial converter so this adc with this ic 75151 will make your pcm transmitter now we'll see the working of this pcm transmitter so for that we have to connect this output of fixed sine wave generator to to input of adc 08 09 okay after convert connecting this adc 0809 this adc will convert this data into digital data by performing three uh, function that is sampling quantization and encoder encoding and the ic 741 will put it it into serial format okay so now at the output of this ic 741 we can observe this pcm output so we can see the pcm output on this cro now uh, this dso we can uh, if you want to stabilize the waveform you have to press this run and stop mode so if you press this run and stop mode we can clearly see this pcm output at the uh, in this lo waveform it represent the pcm output now we'll see in this time interval we can see number of bit combination of bit pcm is an n bit combination so we can see the n bit combination in this interval now this is a one n bit combination this is second n bit combination which means each sample is represented by different combination of n bits now how to measure how many bits are there in this uh, output of pcm for that we have to use this cursor take uh, press the cursor on dso then take the type as amplitude time cursor so after taking the time cursor you can see so you can also select the source so, so source selected is channel 1 so take an amplitude sorry time cursor so here the cursor will appear so using this cursor you put it on one side of your uh, bit interval and then use the second cursor and using this two cursor you can measure the bit interval tv so measure the bit interval tv if you see the bit interval tv for a single bit 
it comes to about some uh, uh, if you see the delta value is uh, 3 microsecond means uh, we can make it more precise and uh, if you adjust it you can see it comes to 2 microsecond means 1 bit is of 2 microsecond and now we can calculate the whole word or the bit word we can say the bit word interval so if you calculate the bit word interval the value comes to uh, if you see the del value it comes to 16 microsecond so one bit is of 2 microsecond and so on whole bit word is of 16 microsecond so the one bit or how many bits are there we will uh, see that in one PCM output there are 8 bits 8 into 2 it will come to 16 so it is an 8 bit PCM so this in this way we can note down if this, here is an observation table so here we have to calculate the bit rate in that first we have to calculate the number of bit at PCM output so we have got this value as number of bit is equal to 8 so note down this on your observation table the value of uh, number of bits of PCM is 8 ok so after this calculating the value of uh, number of bits at the output of PCM as 8 and observing this PCM you can draw this PCM on the graph paper this is the waveform you can see here the output waveforms are drawn so this are uh, you can uh, simultaneously draw this waveform on your graph paper and note down the reading number of bits equal to 8 at the output of PCM so we have got the value of that n now what we have to require we have to require the value of sampling frequency now the sampling frequency for this PCM on this PCM model is given as your start of conversion frequency of ADC so remove the output of PCM uh, connected to DSO and connect it to the start of conversion frequency when you connect this you can press auto set and you will get the waveform on here this yellow waveform will represent that start of conversion frequency and by major button we can say that start of frequency is equal to 7.81 kilohertz this 7.81 kilohertz is nothing but your sampling frequency FS so note down this 8 into 7.81 into 10 raised to 3 so by multiplication I am taking this 2 value that is 8 is the number of bit and sampling frequency 7.81 into 10 raised to 3 hertz will give you the bit rate for this PCM system so that is the first calculation you have to make for this bit uh, PCM system second for this PCM system we are going to see the conversion period for that what you have to do you have to connect the second input of DSO to the end of conversion now as soon as we press the end of conversion the end of conversion signal will appear here now we have to take the uh, conversion period of ADC so again we have to use a cursor again we have to take a type cursor as your time so keep one cursor at the falling edge of your start of conversion and the second cursor you can put it at the rising edge of your end of conversion ok so falling and rising edge and the difference between these two edge will give you using the cursor will give you the conversion period here the del value will come the difference between two cursor and it is equal to 70 microsecond so write down that value as a conversion period as 70 microsecond for your PCM ok so these are the measurements you have to take at the transmitter side of PCM now we will see the receiver part for the receiver part what you have to do is we have to connect the output of IC74151 to the input of IC74198 so what is IC74198 it is again a serial to parallel converter so it will convert your data into serial to parallel converter parallel data and then there is a digital to analog converter so it will again convert your digital data whatever received into an analog value so we can observe this analog signal at the receiver at the output of digital to analog converter if you see the signal is in the form of staircase ok so for this staircase we can draw this staircase or the output of that on our we can make it stop and you can see the waveform very much clearly so this is your digital to analog converter output ok so this digital to analog converter output you can draw and you can measure the step size for this PCM also after 
getting the output of DAC, it is converted to your uh, connected to your low pass filter, and at the low pass filter, we will get your reconstructed waveform. So we can see here, this is a reconstructed waveform at the output. So what we have transmitted, we have transmitted the sine wave, and what you have received, we have received again the sine wave. Uh, means your digital data converted into sine wave. So we can compare your output and input. If you see here we can compare this is an input waveform yellow line and this is the output waveform. So we can see your signal is transmitted in terms of digital data by PCM and again reconstructed back in analog form by this digital to a PCM receiver. So PCM transmitter will convert your analog data into digital data and PCM receiver will convert again that digital data into analog data. So we have to ultimately note down the amplitude of this uh, uh, sine wave and also the amplitude uh, of this uh, received signal both transmitted and received. Then you can compare with frequency and amplitude that both signals are same. So if you see the transmitter frequency was 976 and the received is 972. Okay. So both we can say the faithful reconstruction of signal is there. So this is the first part of PCM that is PCM with uniform quantization. In the second part of PCM what we have to study, we have to study the non-uniform quantization of PCM. So for that uh, I will explain the connection what you have to do. You have to only changes are there. Ki we use an A law and new law uh, compounding techniques in non uniform quantization. So, this the same kit is used for non uniform quantization. Only what you have to do is uh, we have to take an output at the output of uh, what we say variable function generator. So, the output of variable fun function generator is there. Now, you can take either new law or A law compounding. So we will uh, take a new law compounding. So this output of function generator is first given to your new law compounding and then you can observe the effect of compounding on the input signal by observing the input signal as well as the output of compounder. So out input of compounder and we will see uh, obviously the output of compounder. So both we will see simultaneously on uh, DSO. So if you see on DSO, this is the input of compounding and this is output of compounding. So I will see, uh, you can see here uh, your signal. So this is the input signal to the compounder and this is the output signal of compounder. So here you can see the compounding characteristics. What is the process of compounding? It will, uh, uh, what we say, it will uh, amplify the low voltage signal. So how we can say it is amplifies the low voltage signal? Here we can see measure the input amplitude of this signal it is in millivolts and the output amplitude of this signal it is in volts and also we can see these characteristics these are the uh, what we say the real characteristics or the specific characteristics of a compounder we can see at the peak of this signal the compounding characteristics okay likewise you can see the compounding characteristics also you can see the uh, expanding characteristics of new law for that what you have to do we have to connect the output of your compounder to the input of expander and then you can observe the output of expander so if you see the expander characteristics so this is the expander characteristics okay so by observing this waveform, this uh, compounding characteristics that is input compounding as well as expansion, you can study the non-uniform quantization PCM. So what is the advantage of non-uniform quantization PCM is that uh, you can avoid, the, you can increase the signal to noise ratio. So both new law compounding and A law compounding non-uniform quantization PCM you can study with this practical and you have to draw the waveform of input of compounder, output of compounder, input of expander and output of expander and by um, analyzing the input voltage and output uh, signal frequency you can clearly see the compounding effect or the non-uniform quantization effect uh, in this PCM model. Okay. So thank you. So this was the practical that explained the two uh, parts 
is the first PCM with uniform quantization. In the second part, PCM with non-uniform quantization. So, in this practical, now we have to make these readings. Write the conclusion. Here we can make the input frequency of your signal. Here the input amplitude. And after reconstruction, the output frequency of the signal and its output amplitude. And also you can draw the various waveform at various points of this uh, modem, PCM modem. Thank you and we will see in the next practical.